taking a look at ACDC 2024 Photo Studio Ultimate. I've used their software for many years now. You can manage your photos. They also have a lot of editing features. So here's the main interface. You've got your manage, media, view, develop, edit, people, pictures. So one of their big additions is zero effort searching with AI keywords. It processes the images. It looks for standard things like water, bridges, camera, equipment, clothing items, animals, which we can take a look at. Non-destructive AI masking in the develop tools. So it's kind of a one-click operation. And then you can use a brush to go over AI sky replacement. Not really something I do, but it is a cool feature and they're trying to make it easier and easier. They have the AI face edit. Again, it's going to be very specific depending on what you want to accomplish. If you're into portrait photography, this might be a very good feature for you. I'll at least try it out. They cleaned up the interface in many aspects. They took a lot of user feedback. Object selection tool with the AI functionality. So that looks good. A new grain tool. If you're into adding a certain look to your photos, you can do that. Skin tune. They added more lens corrections, which is always nice to see. You have the IPTC information. You have ACDC's own information. They're making ways to better intermingle that data so if you're into the standardized stuff at least now you can do a lot more with it so you can import it export it they improved the metadata embedding features camera raw updates okay the first thing i'm going to check out is the ai automatic tagging so we click on one of the images you have your acdc metadata you have your own keywords that you can add then they've got the ai keywords so i did process all of these images for all of my sample data and you can see what it's come up with so this first image, it's a wheelchair rugby. It's got clothing, wheelchair, person, sport. Now it did say basketball, but it is a similar look. So, I mean, it's a ball, person, wheelchair, ball game. And it noticed the dog here when it's just a portion of the dog. So that's impressive. We click on here, you can see it's got dog here. We've got swimming, water sport, duck, which is correct. So animal, bird, duck, nature, body of water, the sport is a little off, but you can always remove those if you want. So in this case, if I didn't want sport, I just hit the little trash can and get rid of that. Here we've got architecture, window, nature, sky, photography, symmetry. And that's honestly, that's really impressive to get that mix of keywording just by having it process the images, not doing anything yourself. Nature, tree, duck, goose, flower, sculpture, statue, clouds, and it is a person technically didn't get the dog but close enough nature tree so we got boat which is good we can just hit a little trash can on the car to remove that another flower let's take a look at this person clothing that's probably as close as gonna get with a cosplay thing didn't figure out what that was get the sky in here didn't figure out what this sculpture thing was didn't get the sign saw the camera in here tripod that's good and actually got the snow in this image so tree snow flower fruit just generally i could see the use cases of having that information and all of the ai stuff happens on your computer there's no internet connection stuff going on with sending your photos to somewhere and processing them it's all local on the computer from what i've heard i could spend hours just looking at this parrot fish statue person man got rainbow I think this, yeah, this one up here, camera, tripod. It even noticed the trees in this 360 degree image. But it thinks it's a painting or something. And I got the smile as, as much as I'll smile. Here's a bunch of cosplay stuff. So it does see the people, but it obviously doesn't seem to know what cosplay is. Clothing, person, shoe. Yeah. Smile, glasses, eyewear, person, child. <laughs> Let's get rid of the, the child thing. See if it gets a, yeah, I guess a horse, horse, stable, very nice. Got the cat, man. Okay, I'm spending way too much time on this one feature. So in addition to the management features, obviously a lot of the stuff I do is using the filters. You can do ratings, you can do colors, you can group them by author, camera, all that good stuff. Sort them. There's a lot of the basic stuff that I use day to day. You can do comparisons. So if I pick two images like that you can go into tools compare images i use this a lot when i'm doing lens tests and stuff I'd zoom in and just uh do my thing get more information properties so this is a great feature i use a lot you get your media tab in this case you can get a very quick view of all of the photos in a group 
So if you want to click on one, you can adjust the ratings and stuff here. You can do multiple selections if you want. It's a nice quick way to deal with their photos. You can sort them, group them as well here. And then the standard view mode. If you want to look at the detail of one or more photos, you can do that here. Got a little bit of information on the bottom and various additional options. Let's go into develop. This is the main tool that I use in ACDC. It's non-destructive editing raws and such. We've got these new additions here, the AI subject, background, sky, brush, uh, and gradients. They took the gradients, they took the brushes, merged them together, and made one control scheme for it. So for example, if you want to brush, you can easily just draw it in here, do it by hand if you want. So now we've got our mask, and then we can use adjustments as needed. Turn the mask off if you want. So if we want a bunch of vibrance or saturation going or something, you can do that. Let's try the AI sky tool here. See what it does. Yep. So it picked out the sky. More vibrance and saturation to the sky. You can do that. And you can see the difference here. So a few seconds. Not too bad. Something like this. Let's see what we can do. Maybe the AI background. Okay, so it did a nice job here pretty much of picking out the bags compared to everything else. So at this point, we could say remove saturation and vibrance from the backgrounds if you wanted to do a selective color thing. Personally, I'm not a big fan of selective color, but that actually does something here. and it, it proves, you know, functionality. So that's good. Or you could open and edit and do some more pixel-based editing. So it's nice to see these tools, this functionality in the develop, which is definitely something I'd use. In the past, it had multiple masks, a limited set of them, but in this case, you just add additional masks as needed. Let's try the AI sky again. Okay, it looks like I did a good job. It even left the little lights on the side here. Computer is struggling. Yeah, so some of the light is still in the photo. So in this case, we can do the same adjustments as needed. In this case, if I want to mess with the AI face tool, I'm going to pick out a few of my own. Let's go into edit with this photo and see if we can use the AI tool to adjust my face. So we've got the AI face edit, AI sky replace. Let's click face edit. So it's looking for a face. Found my face. Zoom out a little bit here. So we've got face width. I want to have a <laughs> narrow face or a chonk dunk face. Jawline. Oh man. Jaw width. Chin size. You can link and unlink the eyes. So let's, let's, uh, really, oh my, oh my. And obviously you're going to use this tool very sparingly. Oh God. I could see the wrinkle remover thing being useful. Upper eyeshadow, lower eyeshadow. Yeah, it's there if you're interested. So in this case, let's try the remove background. There could be situations where I want to just take myself and put it in a thumbnail. Just one click, it seems all right. Obviously, it didn't get everything. Depending on the situation, that could be good enough. Let's try something a little more difficult. Sky replacement with the AI. Okay, that, that was very easy. And then you can pick which one you want of this group. You can adjust the positioning of it. You can probably add your own, I would assume. Let's try that one. Mask refinement. So if you want a little bit more or less, you can fade the edges of it. Not bad, not too bad. Let's try the blur background real quick. Yeah, so that was easy. Blur background, if you want that phone look. Let's try the remove background in this situation. So it didn't get everything, but that's a nice start at the very least. I honestly don't use edit that much, but I could see quite a few of these things being useful. So if we go to the database cataloging files tool, you can see that it has importing EXIF and IPTC metadata or the IPTC keywords. It'll convert those to the ACDC keywords for the IPTC stuff. If you're into that, it's an option now. Here's a bunch of information on the metadata as well. You can do copy, embed ACDC metadata. You can embed keywords to IPTC or categories. So for example, let's go into organize. We've got the AI keywords. I'm going to make sure that they're all selected and added. So that should be good. You can assign all. So this image now has that. So let's right click. Let's first check our IPTC information. There's nothing in here. But if we go back to ACDC information, you could see the keywords are now in here. All that specific information, which is good. But let's say we wanted to convert that into the IPTC information. I right clicked on its metadata. So we can embed directly 
or you can use the options to automatically embed that type of information. But we'll click that. So now it pushes that information into the file or a sidecar file, potentially. You can go back to that metadata and it says embed keywords to IPTC. So let's click that and open this up. And you can see now that it has those keywords in this area. So everything from the AI information that was generated on this. So we got camera closed, person, smile, photography, a lot of good stuff in there now. It's in this one, but not in this one. So you can probably do those in, in batch or whatever, just to automatically push that information. It's nice to have the flexibility of the different formats of metadata. They also improved the face related functionality. So it can detect faces in your images. You can assign these to a person. So for example, name faces. So we've got Scott. So now I can go into named and I've got myself in here. And I can look at the different photos. And then you can also look at what the image, the actual images. The face doesn't make a ton of sense if you don't want to click on it like that. It's nice to have the ability to specifically show the actual images as a big group. So yeah, that's pretty nice as well. And from here, you can do a bunch of stuff. Cool. You can also group them, ungroup them by face that it thinks are the same person. So I want to go in here and see if it's actually, yeah, it looks like it picked all of the same person, which is good. In cosplay, it doesn't seem to have any issue with. Of course, it'll totally depend, but so far it's been pretty smart got a bunch of groups of my own face. I can turn those into just me or whatever. Yeah, a lot of functionality here. So for example, if I wanted to search for tree, I know there's a bunch of trees. Not that I have the AI keywords in here. It's smart enough to find all the trees. So that's a good thing. Or I remember seeing a bunch of shoes. So I just type shoe in there. Now I've got some shoe photos, shoe cosplay photos, <laughs> lots of stuff. Maybe a uh, car. I think car was one. So yeah, I pulled that car image. These ones have cars, very nice. Or just people, person maybe. Yeah, so person, very nice. Or snow was one, all the snow images. So yeah, quick and easy. I didn't have to type in the keywords myself. Seemed pretty functional. Obviously it's not gonna be perfect, but it's a good starting point at the very least. If you have a huge amount of images, I could see that being a good benefit to that. Anyways, that was a look at ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate 2024 with some of the additions and some of the features that I use day to day. It's got a photography bonsai, thanks.